Do you ever find yourself struggling to get most of your shots on target? Or maybe you do manage to keep most of your shots on target, but you just can't beat the goalkeeper. Well, the good news is, you're not alone. Shot accuracy is a very common challenge, even amongst the professional elites in football. And this can be proven by looking at the shot accuracy stats from teams within some of the most competitive leagues in the world. In the English Premier League, which is considered the most competitive league in the world at the moment, the team with the highest shot accuracy at the time of this video is Brentford FC, with 93 out of 245 shots hitting the target. That gives them a shot accuracy percentage of only 38% with 25 games played. And right at the bottom of the barrel is West Ham FC, who managed 314 total shots, only 80 hitting the target. Which leaves them with a not so impressive shot accuracy percentage of 25.5%. Now you might think, maybe the teams in the English Premier League are simply underperforming. But that doesn't seem to be the case. As we look across other European leagues, and realize that the stats are not so different. In the German Bundesliga, the top of the high end of the scale is Munchen Gladbach with 111 shots on target out of 268 shots in total, leaving them with a percentage of 41.4%. At the lower end, FC Schalke with a percentage of 26.1%. In the Spanish La Liga, we see similar results, with Real Sociedad topping the group with 40.1% and Athletic Club at the bottom of the barrel, 27.4%. We won't consider the Farmers' Leagues for now. So what does all of this mean for you? Well, if you can get 4 shots on target out of 10, it's fair to say you're pretty much in the top 1% of shooters in the world. I'm going to share a few tips that you can use to hopefully help you boost that number. Generally, there are two types of ground shots. Power shots and place shots. With power shots, we know our main aim is to keep the ball down. And the best way to do this is by slightly leaning forward over the ball when you shoot. If you lean backwards, you might get lucky occasionally but most of the time, the ball will go flying sky high. With a placed shot, our main aim is to place the ball in areas of the goalpost that the keeper will struggle to reach. The top right, top left, bottom right, or bottom left. To get accuracy on a power shot, your foot placement makes all the difference. Your balancing foot should face the direction you want the ball to go. Which sounds very obvious, but when you're fatigued and under pressure in a match, it's an easy thing to forget. So make sure to practice this stance frequently to program your mind into not having to think about it at all. It should come naturally to you, like walking or running. Maintain your posture and balance after you've kicked the ball. Personally, if I don't get a shot on target, this is usually the main reason why. It's also a very common mistake that players make when shooting, because they feel the need to overcompensate to add power. You don't need to use your whole body to get power behind the ball. Just focus on staying balanced, because if you lose balance and your body drifts off to the side, in most cases you'll end up slicing through the ball causing it to also drift wide. One more thing to remember with the power shot is to control your swing, meaning your swing should be a full swing that follows through even after you've kicked the ball, so you can continue to guide it in the right direction towards the goal. With the play shot, everything about your technique changes. Instead of striking the ball with your laces, use the inside of your foot to gain more control on the direction of your shot. Almost like a pass, but with more power. A backswing is not really so necessary for a play shot, it's more about your follow through as you can see. I hope this video helps you keep your shots on target and remember, there's nothing to be ashamed of. If you can get 4 shots on target out of 10, you're doing better than most professionals. In next week's video, we're going to go over techniques that you can use to increase your shot power. So make sure to tune in.